All right, folks, uh, today I, I had this idea a little while ago because I was going to be away from my welder and I realized I needed practice in just the hand motions. And so I traced out my, uh, my little Lincoln welding torch. That's where the trigger is. And this is the thicker handle. And then I took some uh, copper pipe and bent it around the right shape. And I got some three quarter uh, pecs for the handle. Fortunately, no trigger, but you know, we're just uh, coming up with something here. And I stuck a Sharpie in there. I did try a short Sharpie, but it's hard to put the cap back on, although you could cut this and then you'd be a little closer to where the, the wire comes out. Um, another idea I came up with today was uh, if you don't have copper pipe kicking around, you might have some house wiring. This is just copper wiring, and it seems rigid enough. Just tape a Sharpie to it. This one you could probably move back a bit. So anyway, um, and as you all know, welding is all about patterns. This is a, a welding book I got a while back off of eBay. It's a lab manual. And uh, it mostly had like exercises in it, but it had a few patterns and when to use them. So they say um, for most flat welds, like a 1G weld, they like this pattern. Can also be used for vertical. And then this one they like on lap joints and vertical. So 1F lap joints and 3G, 3G vertical and 2G horizontal butt and lap welds, uh, 2F. And then they say this pattern allows the heat to be concentrated on the thicker plate. Anyway, this kind of stuff. And then this one they like for vertical and overhead. And, uh, and here we got, you know, this pattern is like a narrow bead for deeper heat penetration. And this is a uh, shallow bead for, uh, sorry, wide bead for shallow heat penetration. So anyway, once I got my rig set up, you need to make sure, you know, your cardboard stays still to basically mimic a flat sheet of steel. So here at the kitchen counter, we're just going to tape down our cardboard and uh, then you can do your practicing. I actually got a better piece handy. I'll just grab it right now. And uh, yeah, this one I taped to a placemat. It's just so it won't move around on you, you know. And uh, once you got it taped down, then you can just, uh, you know, set about practicing. So we're just, uh, you know, if you want to try one of these patterns, let's just go easy with a, uh, well, we'll do that like the row of U's. And I realized like I was bracing and doing my U's. And then once I got over here, I ran out of you know, I'm out here hanging out on my thumb. So I saw like other welders, you want to get kind of mimic your right angle. They move both hands together like in lockstep. So you can try that and just get to the, get used to the idea of moving both hands together like a foot away from your body and then making a very small motion. It's really, you know, it seems like that's a big part of it. And then, of course, when you're really welding, uh, you know, you don't want to be like looking at the arc. You want to be looking at the puddle, which is a little behind this point. But I find you kind of look back and forth between because you need to know where you're going which is where these lines come in. They're, uh, they're helping you, you know, keep 
an idea and you can almost figure if this line was say you're doing a lap weld and it's two pieces of metal you wanna make sure you're you're mostly spending time on that line so you might try you know this type of almost like a shark tooth pattern and then later it gets covered up when, while you're doing it but it's like a really tight circle or you know cursive E that kind of thing and uh, you know just working away at it and then uh, just doing like that um, another idea is now you can practice vertical welds as well just on a box and the thing is your box you don't want it to move so whatever you got around that's got some weight to it we got a box of oranges here so that's you know because your vertical welds are tricky so now you can you know you're supposed to be your gun pointed up a bit so you can probably do this better right off the edge of the counter and then you know work your way up vertical I've read just that this is this puts more heat into the joint but uh, going down seems to be easier but it might not get enough heat penetration and the one this is where your little triangles come in like up over and that keeps the heat right in the in the groove or in the root something like that so between you know this setup and watching YouTube videos you can kind of put what you see to practice a little bit anyway just because you know what else are you going to do right? and uh now you can also do horizontal. Same thing with the uh, horizontal and then out of position. So if you're, say you're working, this was a car up on a lift, you know, and you gotta, you gotta work away at it. It's moving a little bit, but you can add more weight. Kind of stop that. And there I was, I was bracing, but really I think what you need to do is two hands together, and it's, it's tricky, you know. So that's the idea. And then, we'll see if this, and obviously you could even do, like, overhead. If you lean this box out, you gotta get way down, you know. So pretend you're under a vehicle or something, and here you are. You know, that's really tricky. Partly because it's like four feet away from me, but you get the idea. Burn through anyway. So, you know, oops, with a little, so yeah, with just, you know, just some ideas. Uh, yeah, so, you know, get some cardboard, just cereal boxes or whatever, and then uh, get a box that's good and solid. Uh, if you got like a workbench, that works as well. And then you can practice like, even sitting down and having to weld as if you're in the shop working on a vehicle or 
some other piece. And then, uh, and then, yeah, just practice, you know, practice your patterns and, and, uh, you know, and then get that muscle memory going, right? And I bet the next time you're actually in front of a welder, it'll, it'll make a big difference. All right, good luck with your welding, and uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe.